This poem is entitled The African Burial Ground. It's by Youssef Kominyaka. In the poem, he mentions the thumb piano, which is this instrument, also known as the kalimba. It was made popular in the United States by Maurice White of Earth, Wind, and Fire. And Maurice White, in honoring this instrument, was also trying to honor, honor the ancestors. And I think it'll be also important, given the nature of this poem, to have it serve as the layout motif, as it's a poem of trauma, memory, and also respect and dignity. So, the African burial ground. They came as Congo, Guinea, and Angola, feet tuned to rhythms of a thumb piano. They came to work fields of barley and flax, livestock, stone and slab, brick and mortar, to make wooden barrels, some going from slave to servant and half freeman. They built tongue and groove, wedged into their place in New Amsterdam. Decades of seasons changed the city from Dutch to York, and dream-footed, hard work rattled their bones. They danced a shanty. They lived and died, shrouded in cloth, in cedar and pine coffins. Trinity Church owned them in six and a half acres of sloping soil. Before speculators arrived, grass and weeds overtook what was most easily forgotten and tannery shops drained there. Did descendants and newcomers shoulder rock and heave loose gravel into the landfill before building crews came, their guitars and harmonicas chasing away ghosts at lunch break? Soon footsteps of Lower Manhattan strutted overhead back and forth between old denials and new arrivals, going from a major to minor pieties, always on the go. The click of heels, the tap of a drum, awakening the dead. <laughs>